this is the part two of my stack management series. So in my part one video, I said, I am going to add this third switch. And then the only way, you know, I was thinking to add this third switch is to break down these cables and reorganize it uh, to add this uh, stacking cable to this switch. Uh, but that's going to bring down your entire stack and cause network outage. But there is a better way to do that without causing a network outage. That's why I'm creating this part two series. So in here, I have this switch already powered up and I have this stack already powered up. So this stack has two cables and this have just no cable. I have this uh, cable to be connected here. So let me open my uh, party session and I will show you uh, how it goes. So this is my uh, party session uh, and then this is the the standard on switch uh, sitting on the top. And let me uh, put that in the corner and then let me open my other stack. Okay, so you drag it down here and I'm going to open my second party uh, to connect to uh, using an SSH. So this is going to, you see it's uh, changes to SSH. So I have an SSH connection to my stack. All right, uh, let me connect this one. All right, so now I am uh, here. So let me uh, shrink it so I can uh, make it half and half here. All right, so let's adjust this. So this is a better way you can see things side by side. All right, so let me show you show switch. I have two switches. One is the master, uh, other one is the member. And this one shows switch. And this has a single switch just as a master. So I have set up this priority accordingly. So here, if you see master 15, member 14, and this one is going to be 13. And that is the correct priority. And let me do a show version and then look at the version numbers. Uh, the major version should match uh, for this to join the stack. Show version. And the version number here is, okay, that is 12.255 AC 12 uh, to 12.2 or 55 AC 9 and 12. So these are the minor things. So that can vary, but this major version is uh, supposed to match. So everything match. So this uh, standalone switch can join uh, this stack. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, power off uh, my switch. Let me uh, let me power this off. Okay, so I'm going to power off this switch and then I'm going to uh, show you how that works and let me unplug my console cable. So my console connection is gone now. All right, so I have to bring this uh, because in a stack, you know how uh, the switch is organized in the stack. So it's from the top to bottom. The top is always uh, a master switch, and then come down those uh, next switches. All right, so let me organize this, so that way I can uh, imitate a rack setup. All right, so the arrangement that you have to do here is, so if you see here, my cables are crossing from here to here, here to here. So when I add this one, what I have to do is, first, you should not power on this switch. So you need to organize the stacking cables first. So I'm going to take down this one, this cable. And at the same time, I'm going to show you what's going to happen to my uh, stack uh, ports. So I took it down. 
All right, so I took down and let me show you what is happening to my, so I can close this COM port because that's not going to work anymore. I'm going to maximize this one. Show switch, the switch will be still there, but it will be operating in a half speed in the ring. Show switch, question mark. Uh, that is going to be, uh, so switch, STAs, CK stack ports. If you see here stack ports, there are two stack ports are down. And if you look at, so stack ring, and then there's the speed, you see the, the speed is at the, the half speed. But that's fine when you do um, uh, upgrade to your stack. Uh, you can be, you know, uh, temporarily bring down the stack speed to half. Um, and then, you know, after everything come back, it will be full speed. And so I'm going to uh, connect this cable here. So let me uh, connect this one. So I always use the the hand because I do not want to use a, a screwdriver because um, that way sometimes you don't know uh, you might uh, tighten it too um, too hard or you know the the groove might not uh, align well but you still can you know exert excessive force from the screwdriver so. Always use, uh, I always use my hand to do that. All right, so now you see here, uh, I am not still going to bring down this, uh, bring, uh, bring up this third switch yet. I'm going to connect this cable. So now uh, this switch is connected to this one. And then, uh, so um, you see here, one and three are connected. And also, uh, this uh, one and two still have connection here. That's the important thing. One and two needs to be at the half speed. And then what I'm going to do is, so one and two has a connection, and then two and three need to have a connection here. That's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be two. And I'm going to do it. Okay. All right, so that's uh, tight enough. And then I'm going to connect. So you see, see, uh, you see here, one and two connected across, and two and three connected across here. At the same time, one and three connected this way across. So that's how you do the stacking. All right, so they're connected now. Now this switch is ready for a power up. So, but at the same time, you see here, your stack is still up. There's no down for these first uh, two switches, and everybody will be connected um, without any network outage. And also, I want to show you the the front of this uh, uh, switch, so you can see what's in the front. Would you see here? There are two. Optics connection, they are connected to one and two. So uplink also functioning properly without any any down, uh, any reduced speed on the uplink. And I can show you, show you the channel summary here. So that's at the full speed here. Both ports on the ether channels are up. All right, so now let me power on this one. Okay, so it is powering on now. 
and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So switch and still uh, there's nothing yet. Okay, I, we have to wait a little bit for the switch to come up on the stack. So I'm going to uh, pass this video for uh, for maybe 30 seconds, and then we will be able to see this uh, third switch joining the stack. All right, now you can see uh, the uh, switches now. Uh, it was uh, waiting before, and now it's uh, uh, progressing. It's going to join the stack pretty soon. Now it's initializing. Okay, it's uh, still initializing. Okay, now it is ready. All right, so let me uh, uh, show you uh, the show switch stack ports. You see all the stack ports are now up. And um, also you can see uh, stack ring speed, it is now uh, full. I uh, hope I have covered everything uh, what I wanted to uh, say in this video. But if you have any question, uh, let me know. Uh, I will be answering all your questions uh, as soon as possible. I uh, hope this video is uh, helpful for you. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.